Hi, my name is Marta and welcome to my today's yoga video, which is a very simple stretch you can do after work or after sitting for a long period of time. We're going to do a couple of things that will help us release any tension in the hips and low back and just kind of get these parts of the body moving and a little bit more free. For this practice, you're going to need a pillow and it doesn't have to be any necessarily special pillow. It can also be a yoga block, but pillow that you have on the couch or maybe two pillows uh, that you put your head on, that would be really nice. Uh, it could also be a rolled up blanket. So let's get started with sitting down on our pillow and making it a little bit more cushy. You can start feeling straight away that your hips open up a little bit more and your knees can travel a little bit further down towards the mat. And from here, we're just gonna close our eyes for a couple of moments and start focusing on our breath before we move on to any physical practice. First and foremost, let's start inhaling fully and exhaling slowly. Just come here now and stay present here for a couple of minutes, ideally throughout our whole practice. In your own pace, keep breathing in and out. And whenever you're ready, start gently opening your eyes. And from here, we'll move to our stretches and opening. So extend your right leg out to the side and notice how you feel here. Do you have space? Are you getting a cramp? Try to keep your left foot here in the middle below the hips. And from here, engage through your whole right foot and your toes are pulling towards your body. So we feel it already, is, our hamstring is activated and stretching. And from here you can begin to, to reach towards your fingers and leaning with your body towards the right side. For more stability, you can put your left hand in front of you And just see how far you can lean over to the right side. What can you reach? It's perfectly fine to be just here or here. I'll get really deep into opening these hips. Take your time here and just really be very observant what's going on in your body, what changes are happening. If you really sit here, you can also increase the stretch a little bit more by bringing your right elbow inside of that right knee and reaching with your hand all the way up towards the ceiling and over towards the right foot. Look under your armpit towards the ceiling to open for your chest. That twisting is really good for your spine. Stay here for a couple more breaths. Return to the center, lift up, return from the stretch. 
And from here, place your left hand on the outside of your left hip and reach a hand to lean towards the other side. Just for a breath or two to counteract the action from the other side for the stretch. And return to the center. Let's change the legs. Do it very gently and slowly. You can lift your limbs up with your hands. And now extend your left leg out. Your toes are engaged and your thighs. Pull your toes towards yourself, towards your body. Maybe even your heel will lift up from the ground. And here our right foot is just below our hips and begin to lean towards the left leg. Say where you're at at this side, your right hand can be securing your position for more stability. And just observe again. This side might be very different depending on your own anatomy, your lifestyle, how you use your body for the rest of the day. And come back to your long deep breaths. You can close your eyes or keep them open. If you want to increase the depth of the stretch, bring the right we bring the left elbow inside of the left leg and open up with your arm, right arm over, up and over, grow from your spine and look under your armpit. Your hand doesn't need to touch to the toes like mine doesn't. It's more about the opening of the chest and looking towards the ceiling. So most of what's going on is here in your right side body. Two more breaths here. And begin to slowly make your way to sit up, allow your muscles to adjust, don't force anything, bring your feet together in front of you. Don't necessarily bring them very close to your hips, just maybe even walk them out a little bit more to create that uh, square shape with your feet. And from here, bring your hands around, grab your feet and start leaning forward with your head, your back can be rounded. And your head is leaning down towards your feet. Feel the opening in both sides of your hips. If you feel like you have more space in your body, you can bring your elbows out and place them on the mat. That will allow your whole head to maybe even touch the feet. Find a quiet, safe space here. And slowly begin to lift up. Bring your feet closer towards yourself. And now we're gonna grab our right calf and go for a baby cradle. That it's a really nice 
opening and movement for the hip joint. So you have your left hand and now just hook your foot. This is your right foot, this is your left elbow. So you hook that in your elbow crease and bring your hand to grab your calf. Your right hand is holding the right knee and find a little bit of organic movement with your hip. Stay stable here in a position. You can try twisting left to right or maybe open up a little bit more towards the back of the mat. You can lean forwards with your whole body and just feel where are the spots that need a bit more of your attention, opening and stretching. Press your leg against your body, bring it closer towards your chest and breathe. You can look at your foot. You can maybe try to extend it. Find what feels good here. Taking care of your foot as much as you can. And don't go beyond your comfortable zone when you start feeling some sharp pain. I know that knees and ankles are very sensitive to movement that is maybe not really serving you. So just find whatever feels best for you. That's why I'm not giving like super specific instructions because I also want you to listen to your body. Um, so yeah, let's finish with that leg, release it gently. You can also give it a bit of a massage, just kneading with your thumbs, pressing on different parts of your foot, feeling what feels good. Maybe you have achy feet from walking long, you can also move up to your ankle. Do a little bit of a pressing massage. And let's leave that right foot in peace. And now let's take care of the left one. So again, this is your right hand. Bring your left foot to the elbow crease. Grab your calf with your hand. And start finding a bit of gentle movement left to right our hip joint is very has a big range of movement so so let's explore all that you can move it in circles so let's try to make the most of it left to right, lean forward, see how that feels. Notice the movements that bring you the most intense, but in a nice way, sensations. And just, oh. whenever you feel like you've had enough, then release your left foot. And again, this time, press your thumbs in your left foot in a different parts of the bottom of your foot. The heels can also press against your ankle. Find what feels good. See how your toes are moving when you're pressing in the different places of your feet, engaging some tendons, making your toes move. Lovely. And from here, we will have two options depending on how flexible your toes are and how much they can handle and you yourself. Um, we'll either do a toe stretch with our body weight or just toe stretch with um, 
pressing our hands. So this will be like a low key easier version. So just bring your um, hand from the top of your foot and begin to stretch your toes towards the ankle and the top of the foot. Just pressing one toe at a time or all toes together. Just massage here. You have both feet so your heels can be resting on the floor and your hands can be massaging. If you feel that like this is good but you could also probably um, stretch more then let's come to um, all fours actually more on your knees and um, look at your feet and spread your toes wide so all of them are connected to the floor and to the mat sit your bum back on your heels and just sit up and that action brings our top body weight to the toes and provides a deeper more intense stretch to our toes but it just really depends on you how much you intensity you can um, bring to your body with a smiley face that's why we're not spending here too much time but just enough to stretch these toes and rush the blood a little bit differently and lovely okay so now lean forward release your toes and top of your feet to the mat sit back and walk your knees as wide as the yoga mat and just try to sit sit down your toes big toes touching you can also grab a pillow and here we'll go for extended child's pose so that pillow if you can release your chest down then that's going to provide you with really nice support a little bit more gentle stretch so you get to relax here in a quiet passive way release your head to the floor Open yourself to new experiences and just taking care of yourself in a different way, maybe, to what you used to. And slowly begin to walk yourself back up. You can remove the pillow to the side. Bring your knees together and let's transition to have our legs in front of us. And here, place your feet in front of you, the knees are bent and a little bit wider than hips. So you can see this is how much space you have on your hips and the mat. And then your feet, just make them a little bit wider. Your hands are behind your back opening through your chest and bringing your elbows together and move side to side release the knees in windshield wipers this is a lovely stretch for the hips make sure that your props don't get in the way your pillow or blanket or a block and notice the ju juicy stretch in your hips lovely so from here I would like us to open and stretch hip flexors so let's come to all fours again place your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hip points and from here we'll also activate our balance and core 
a little bit. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is let's start with kind of preparing ourselves and warming these parts of our body up. So extend your right leg all the way back. Notice how your core gets activated, your belly, and slowly prepare and lift, extend your left hand forward. And here, notice how you can balance that. How much can you last before everything starts shaking and slowly release. Now extend your left leg back, followed by the right hand. Try to create one single line with your right hand and your left foot and whole leg. The thigh and calf is engaged, same as for the shoulder, the arm, to keep everything up. And release. So from here now, instead of extending the straight leg, we, we're going to lift up our bent leg. And again, we will also lift our left hand up and try to grab behind, find the foot somehow. Give it a go and start pressing from your foot out. That will open your shoulder and stretch it. And also you feel great opening in your hips, in your thigh muscles. Look on the mat underneath you, right in the middle, and spend a couple of breaths here. All the legs are activated, leg up and leg down, the arm, and on the exhale, release. Now let's swap sides, so lift your left knee up, left leg as it is bent, extend your right hand and grab over Grab your left foot and without opening too much from your chest, keep pushing your foot back and keep looking down towards the mat. Feel the engagement in your belly. Every single part of your body is working here, it's engaged to make everything work, make it happen. And on the exhale, release. Gently and slowly. Lovely. Now we'll move to Malasana, which is a yogi squat. So from here, I'm just turning so you can see how I do it. So the distance between between your heels is wider than your hips and your toes are pointing out. So there is a lot of space, at least enough space for you to bring your elbows together and press them against each other to open through your hips. Find a bit of movement side to side, notice how your body is reacting to that little sequence here. This is Malasana Yogi Squat. It's amazing for opening our hips. If there's only one thing you can do to recondition the hips after long periods of sitting down, this is the one. Like we used to sit or squat like this a lot more when doing things with our hands. But now we're sitting on chairs and uh, sitting, you know, while driving, just in the public transport. This is a different position. This is not so deep for the hips, so everything gets very stagnant. So here we are bringing this movement, this range of motion in our hips back getting our body used to it again. 
and move side to side slowly. Now practice will move all the way down to the floor very soon. So I hope your body feels a little bit better already. And whenever you're ready, release your hands, put them in front of you and just sit back, sit down. And from here, your legs are bent and slowly release your torso, your chest to the mat. Make yourself comfortable, any adjustment that feel good. And now bring your right foot on the left thigh and bring that bundle towards yourself. You can grab behind the thigh or you can also try to loop over the calf and keep pressing it against your belly, towards your belly. If you want to also activate the core, you can lift your head up and keep pressing the legs towards you. Keep reaching with your head towards the legs. Maybe you get to touch your ankle with your head. Maybe not, it doesn't matter. And on the exhale, release. Release your right leg and bring your right left ankle this time to the right thigh. And again, bring your hands behind your thigh or try to loop over the right calf and bring that bundle towards your belly. Feel it opening in your left hip. And if you want a little bit more activation, a little bit more warm up, core work, then also lift your head up. You can also try to lift your shoulders up the floor. Keep your shoulders away from your head. So if you tend to round your back a little bit too much, round your shoulders, try to bring them down. Lots of space in front of the body. Keep pressing hard. Feel the opening. And slowly release both of your legs. And now extend just your right leg all the way out. Bring your left foot on top of the right thigh and grab your left knee with your right hand and bring it over for a twist. You can extend your left hand out. You can maybe even place it on a pillow if you need more space. If you want a deeper opening, then just extend your hand out. All the way on the mat, keep gluing your shoulder, your left shoulder towards the mat. And on the exhale, come back up and change sides. Extend your left leg, bend your right knee. Grab it with your left hand and bring it over to the left side of the mat. Extend your right hand out. And embrace that twist for a couple of breaths. And slowly come back to the center. Bring both of your knees toward your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Find a bit of movement side to side. And from here, you can extend both of your legs and come to Shavasana. Pause this video and just relax for a couple of minutes in quietness or put some relaxing music in the background. And when you're done with your relaxation, you can slowly 
lean over to the right side. With your knees bent for recovery position, use your right hand, right arm as a pillow. Take your time. And coming back to the here and now. And slowly you can push yourself back up. Walk yourself to a seated position of your choice. You can again sit on your pillow. I think I will embrace that fully today. When you find your seated position, bring your hands to your chest or your fingers together in Anjali Mudra. Connect with your breath once again before we finish this practice by bowing our heads and wishing ourselves the best rest of the day. Thank you so much. See you next time.